What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for stopping by Stoked Feels. So happy to have you on here. And if you're new, definitely consider subscribing, give this video a like, and let's get into today's video because we are going to be opening three Shining Fate tin boxes. So it's 18 packs total in here, but first I wanna show you guys some cool stuff that I picked up. First off, we have the Greatest Hits poster pack right here. This is from the Greatest Hits collection that Pokemon just released and I thought, this artwork right here is so cool. It kind of reminds me of that 80s vintage uh, neon style, the same artwork that we're going on with here on this channel. And there's actually 10 posters in this pack. So there's Charizard in here, Tyranitar, Umbreon, a lot of cool Pokemon. And some of this artwork is the best that I've seen come out of Pokemon. So I really liked it. I can't wait to get these framed and put up. I currently have no space in this place to put it up but hopefully this will go into kind of like this dream game room that i'm i'm like picturing way down the road hopefully when i build that game room i can put these posters in there secondly i was able to pick up this first partner collector's binder and i was able to find it in walmart but you could probably even pick it up through gamestop and this is where all the jumbo cards will be going in these are the 25th anniversary exclusive cards and you could see right there with that beautiful 25th anniversary stamp the galar pack is out the the big jumbo booster pack so i wasn't able to find it when i do i'll make a whole video on that showcasing it and kind of go into this product here as well i just wanted to show you guys that these are out there in case you're interested in picking them up and then lastly i wasn't able to pick up too many cards for my collection but i was able to find this rock rough and it is a General Mills exclusive, I believe from 2017 or 2018. And uh, you can tell by that cool hollow pattern in the back, it's unlike anything else that we've seen in the TCG because this is exclusive to the General Mills promo cards that they put out. So I got that and then right behind it is Lucky Stadium. This is a Black Star promo from the Wizards of the Coast era. And this is the very last card that I needed in order to complete my Black Star promo Wizards of the Coast set. So I'm super happy with it. I really love this card. Kind of reminds me of that special delivery Charizard we're supposed to be getting hopefully soon. Uh, as you can see, there's Charizard and Pikachu on it, just like that card, but there's also a Pichu right over there. So it's a really neat card. It's a trainer card, so you wouldn't think that it's too rare or expensive but this card is very rare and very expensive actually it's in pretty good shape uh, from what i can see i don't really see any marks uh, maybe one here in the corner so i'd imagine this is probably a nine i'm really really lucky especially since i got it from the secondary market this will be going straight into my binder i'm super stoked to have completed that set but now let's get into these tins that I promised I would be getting into with you guys. So here we go. We have a Bolton tin. We have an Eldegoss and we have a Cramorant. Probably my favorite out of the three just because of this bird. It looks just so funny and goofy. <laughs> I love that. Um, I, I think these tins are probably going to be my favorite product from Shining Fates. I know that the special Crobat collection has been released, so that's pretty cool. There's seven packs in there, but these tins, you would think there's only four. There's actually, if you turn it in the back, it says there's six booster packs in here, unlike the UK version that says there's, I think, four of them in there. So this is really neat to be able to pick up this tin and to have six booster packs in here. This is a great product and the fact that you get a shiny Pokemon as a promo, that's pretty neat. So here is that card, very cool. And then here are our boosters. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's that beautiful Zard artwork. We're still looking for that you guys. Still trying to hunt down the Charizard. We have 18 packs that we're going to be going through today. So I'm really hoping that it's in one of these. Let me just open up all these tins. That way we can get all of our booster packs out. Here's that Eldegoss card. Then lastly, we have the Bolton V tin. I mean, just look at him. Doesn't he look like such a good boy? Oh my goodness. And then here are our final packs. 
So let's get into this, you guys. The chase for Charizard Shiny V Max is still on. We've got 18 packs. I'm feeling really lucky. Let's do this. We're going to start right off the bat with this beautiful Charizard artwork right there. Now, this is a small set. Besides the Shiny Vault and all these rare cards that everyone is chasing, this is a very small set. It's 70 some cards. Actually, you can see right there, it's 72 cards. It's a very tiny set. I completed all of the commons and uncommons pretty much right after that we opened that elite trainer box i maybe picked up a card or two you know from that pikachu v box we opened but man this is a very very tiny set we have a reverse hollow more peko and we have a volcanian i'm not sure if i actually ended up pulling this i still need to collect a lot of the regular rares hollows and all that so but don't get me wrong when you take into account all the shiny vault and all the reverse hollows it's a very large set and here's some code cards for you guys don't worry that's on the house no need to thank me let's go we have an energy eldegoss we have tropius luxio or c kofant shootle yanma more peko we have a shiny thievil let's go and behind it we have a celebi so Here's that beautiful card there, the Thievil, and I love the shiny vault. There's like a cool, nice texture to it. I can tell you right off the bat, this Thievil reminds me of that video game. If you guys remember back in the day, Sly Cooper, this is totally Sly Cooper right here. Thumbs up if you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, all these cards besides the last two cards of each deck, I probably have already. Energy, Dartrix, Eldegoss, Luxio, Weasel, Yanma, Trapinch, Shinx. Like I've collected all of these and you guys are gonna end up with so much bulk probably after opening up this set. But we have a Rustage Sword, Reverse Hollow, and a Professor's Research. I am having so many of those. Speaking of bulk, I am pulling so many Professor's Research. All right, let's go, let's go. Drop me a comment down below. Have you been able to pick up Shining Fates? If you have, what do you think of the set? Are you digging it? Everything I've picked up has been from the secondary market, eBay, places like that. Um, so I am overpaying it, but I mean, this is a set that I definitely want to collect. And honestly, I'm willing to pay it for now. I know it's annoying. Okay, there we go, Ndidi Hollow. I don't have this in my collection, so there we go. But yeah, I ended up picking it up. It is a bit annoying. I am overpaying it. Uh, and the, the good thing with this is there's going to be reprints of this set and there's going to be a lot of waves. So you'll have plenty of opportunities if you got, haven't had your chance to get into Shining Fates yet. So I wouldn't worry if I were you guys, but there you go. There's that code card. We have one, two, three, four from the back. Energy, Gym Trainer, Lotzel, Rusted Sword, Spinarak, Rallet, more Peko, Nicket, Eevee, Professor's Research Reverse, and more Peko V. There we go, and full art. So first big hit. Of course, the shiny vault stuff is really good too. There we go, we got ourselves a full art. But what I have noticed, speaking of the secondary market, is I see prices dropping. And a couple things come to mind. One, people are not paying these outrageous prices anymore for stuff on eBay and other websites that are jacking up the prices. Two, there's restocks in stores. Like I'm seeing people posting on various social media of things that they find in stores like Hidden Fates tins, Shining Fates products, and you know, I'm very hopeful with that. I, I, I feel like the secondary market is starting to hurt a little bit. So if that's the case, then that's gotta be a good sign. And Pokemon did promise us that reprints are coming. They're jacking up their printers and pumping out cards. So stay hopeful, everybody. That, that's what I'm trying to say is, is there is hope. All right, let's see what a dude's gotta do to pull a freaking shiny Charizard VMAX around here, huh? Let's see, Luxio, Wacky, Rusted Shield, Nicket, Grookey, Yanma, more Peko. Shoot. Oh, nice! This is my very first full art shiny pool that I've gotten. It is a Phalanx V. So there you guys can see that. Very cool card. And on the back, we have an Ndidi Hollow again. So these tins are turning out to be pretty good. Actually, I feel like 
I, I pulled a couple Ndidi's from the last video I did with the Pikachu V-Box. I think I might have pulled that card or I might have pulled the full art. My memory is the worst, but I definitely remember pulling a couple Ndidi's. And I know I keep referencing that Charizard V-Max Shiny, which is obviously a pretty cool card. Who wouldn't want that card? But there's a lot of really cool pulls that you can get from this set. There's a lot of cool, amazing rares. I think Suicune might be in this set. Uh, Kyogre as well. And then there's also, you know, Shiny Ditto, which would be great to pull. There is Zerud Reverse Hollow, And in the back, we have a Volcanion. So don't think this set is all about that Charizard. There are a ton of great pulls that you can get. And honestly, if I end up getting the Ditto or the Lapras or any of the big chase cards, I'll be happy. I'm sure we're gonna be getting into Shining Fates throughout this year, considering all the different waves that they have promised us. And the fact that you can even get Hidden Fates in the store, which I have not had that luck, but many people have, then, you know, there is hope out there that Shining Fates will follow its footsteps of its older brother and probably be around for a good while. So there we go. Nice. Arco Zolt. Arco Zolt. Psh, I am butchering that. Uh, we got a shiny hit. And in the back, we have not even going to mention it. There we go. Pretty sweet, huh? Nice. What is that? It's like, um, it says it's a fossil Pokemon. It looks like a dog almost. We are building up that shiny vault, you guys. To get a master set of this set, though, I am sure you'll have to go through a lot of packs which I, hopefully I can complete this because this is a really neat set. Let's see, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Snome, Rookie, Eevee, and I love that artwork right in action. I love, I love any artwork that's like right in, in action. There's like a story, something being told, you know? Um, that's like, that's why these cards are so different than the really old base set cards, which those Pokemon were just standing in front of regular old backgrounds. I do like the artworks of the modern sets. I think they do a really good job with them. But at the same time, you know, those those stoked feels come real hard whenever we get into some vintage cards. Eldegoss, Tropius, Ball Guy, Eevee, Gossiflor, Yanma, Snome, Kefant, Reverse, Tropius, and Boss's Order. Look at that hairdo, huh? And that beard. It's a co-card. I have a couple packs left here, you guys. Can we get that shiny Charizard V Max? I'm feeling hopeful. Let's see, Yanma. We have a shiny vault there. Stone Journer. Stone Journer has to be. And then the back, Rillaboom Hollow. Pretty sweet combo there, huh? But yeah, thoughts on these tins? I think they're great. I mean, the fact that you get six packs per tin. Definitely getting your money's worth there. So if you see these tins out there, definitely grab them. Energy, we have Float Soul, Luxio, Rusted Sword, Shinx, Nicket, Rowlet, Trapinch. And I again, I really, really love that artwork. Dreepy, we pulled this. We pulled this Dreepy before. Shiny Dreepy and Indeedy. Okay, so we definitely got some repeats there and a ton of bulk off camera. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what do you guys end up doing with all your bulk? Do you end up selling it? Do you end up trading it? Do you just collect it? I mean, I have a lot, especially with this set, a lot. I don't know what to do with it. Awesome cards, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's, it's a lot of extra cards that I really don't need for my binder because I already have them in there. Eevee, Weasel, Yanma, Trapinch, Reverse Hollow Horsey and Boss's Order. Okay, let's see. We have about four, four packs left. Is the Zard in here? Is the Ditto in here? Lapras? I think I, I'm feeling hopeful. Let's get this. Amaran. Rusted Sword, Snow, Luki, Eevee, Morpeko, Shudo. Oh, there we go. Finally, I've been wanting to get this card. I love these amazing rares. You guys can see that. It is just so cool. And I love the texture, the glitter, the color. These cards, they don't call them amazing rare for nothing. And in the back, we have a, we have nothing. Okay, there we go. And I think you pronounce this Pokemon's name, Yveltal? Yveltal? 
The worst. I'm the worst at pronouncing these. Such a sweet card. I love that. Yeah, so, so happy with that pull there. Okay, so we got an amazing rare. That's got to be something. What else is in here? Gym trainer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I see something in the back right there. Do you guys see that? The suspense is building up now. Thwacky. Let me just put everything together here. Floatzel. Eevee. Gossip Floor. Yanma. Snome. Gafant. We got a Dartrix. Shiny Vault. Pretty sweet bird here. And in the back we have. Oh, nice. A full art. Gym Trainer. This is pretty sweet. So this is getting towards the end of the set, 68th card right here. What what a combo pool right there, you guys. Let's get that sleeve immediately. So dope. This is my first full art trainer card. Uh, these are definitely more interesting than like the Lucky Stadium card I just showed you, that old style trainer card. Probably not worth anywhere close to that Lucky Stadium, but just the artwork on this looks amazing. Love this little fancy bird. Look at that. All right. Two more packs to go. Pools are getting pretty good now. Pools are getting pretty good, but man, would it be the cherry on top if we can get one of those big, big hits? Energy, Dartrix, Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Rowlet, Chipinch, Snow, Grookey, Spinarak. We have an Indeedy shiny vault there. And in the back, we have a Volcanon rare. Not bad, not bad. This is our very last pack here, you guys. Very last pack. These 18 packs flew by. Here's the code card. And let's uh, let's just take these stoked feels in here. Just really appreciate you guys, first of all, stopping by this channel. It means a lot when you guys come and watch these videos, and I hope you have just as much fun as I have getting into these Pokemon cards. I'm brand new and I just started, but I really do love Pokemon cards and I'm really glad that I got back into the hobby. So really thank you so much for joining the channel. We have a Cacnea, we have a Rodom Reverse Hollow, and we have a Yan Mega Regular Rare. So not a big hit, but we did get some pretty cool cards today. We have an Eveltal, I think that's how you say it. We have an Indeedee Hollow, Rillaboom Hollow, and plenty of Indeedee's Hollow there. Shiny Vault, we have an Indeedee again. We have a Dartrix, we have a Dreepy, we have a Stonejourner, Arctozolt, and a Thievul. And our biggest hits were the Gym Trainer, the Fall Lynx V, and the more Peko V. So this was our third Shining Fate opening on this channel, and still no shiny Charizard V Mac. But don't worry the chase is still on. So if you guys want to follow me on this journey, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell icon. That way you stay up to date on all the videos that I put out. And just want to thank you guys for coming out to this channel, watching this video, hanging out with me. If you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. And I guess that's it. Until next time, you guys, keep chasing those stoked feels.